area of parallelograms. We're going to start with the word polygon. And a polygon is a shape that has straight sides and it's closed. What this means is that triangles are polygons, squares are polygons, crazy shapes that have lots and lots of straight sides and are closed are polygons. Circles are not polygons because the sides are not straight. This U shape is not a polygon because it's not closed. So that one's not a polygon. Now a parallelogram is a special kind of polygon that always has four sides and those four sides are always parallel. Parallel means that the sides go in the same direction. So for example, these two sides go in the same direction, this side and this side go in the same direction. This is a parallelogram. This one is also a parallelogram. This side goes in the same direction as this one, and this side goes in the same direction is that one. A rectangle is also a parallelogram because these two sides are going in the same direction and these two sides, the opposite sides, are going in the same direction. A square is a parallelogram. All of these have four sides with opposite sides going in the same direction. Well, perimeter's easy. That's just adding all the sides to find the distance around a shape. But what is the rule or formula for the area of a parallelogram? Well, we've already reviewed and talked about the area of a rectangle. If it was 4 feet by 6 feet, the rule for the area of a rectangle is area equals length times width. That would be 4 times 6 equals 24 feet squared. Now, it's very easy to change a rectangle into a parallelogram. If I cut it like this and take that triangle and move it to the other side so the, sh the rectangle looks like this and I take that triangle and put it on this side, it has the same area as this first rectangle. So what would be the rule for finding the area of this parallelogram? The bottom would still be 6 feet, because I didn't take anything off, I just moved it, and would still be 4 feet tall. So we know the area has to be the same. It has to be 24 feet squared, because we didn't get rid of anything. So they say that the area of a parallelogram is going to be the base, which is the bottom, times how tall it is, which we call the height. So the area of this parallelogram has got a base of 6 times a height of 4 is 24 feet squared. All right, here's one. We don't know if it's in inches or feet or whatever, but if we want to find the area of it, we can write units squared. Now, if we look at this parallelogram, we can cut this triangle and turn it into a rectangle by moving it over to this side. This is what the height is going to be and that's one two three four five six tall so six units tall its base is the bottom and that is one two three four five units in length for the base now we can use our formula the area of a parallelogram is base times the height or a base of five times a height of six which is 30 units squared. Let's try counting and checking our work. So remember, this rectangle is the same size as the parallelogram because I moved that triangle over to here. 
I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 5 by 6 is 30. So there are 30 squares here, meaning there are 30 square units. Here's another one. So we need to find the area of this parallelogram. The area of a parallelogram is base times height. Well, which number is the base? The base is going to be that bottom that it sits on. And in this case, the base is 7. The height is the straight up and down height of that shape. We don't use a slanted side for the height. We have to use the straight up and down height, which is 4. 7 times 4 is 28 feet squared. That's how much space is in this parallelogram. Now, when you take a test, they might give you a formula sheet. If you look at this formula sheet, you will see that they have area equals base times height. So that is the rule, the formula for finding the area of a parallelogram. So if they give you a parallelogram on your test, like this one, and they say it's 10 feet tall, and it is 7 feet wide at the base, then you would say the area equals base times height of 7 times 10, or 70 feet squared. And the neat thing about this is that this formula also works for rectangles and squares because rectangles and squares are also parallelograms. So if I give you the rectangle of 3 inches by 5 inches, to find the area of that, you could do length times width or you can do base times height. The base is going to be 5 times a height of 3 and you'll find that your area equals 15 inches squared. 